The Bison Basketball Show with NDSU head coaches Dave Richmond and Jory Collins. The Bison Basketball Show is presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life. And in case you needed a reminder, North Dakota is indeed a Bison State. The season series sweep of UND by the NDSU men and women it was impressive this last weekend, and now both the Bison men and women get ready for the Summit League Tournament. Welcome to the Bison Basketball Show. My name is Jeff Colhane. Always great to tip things off with the head coach, David Richmond. Coach, impressive finish there. Always great to finish strong. Always great to get a win in Grand Forks the way you did, especially the way you played as well. Yeah, obviously, Jeff, for a bunch of reasons, extremely pleased. You go on the road, you're playing your in-state rival, their seating implications. Um, could not be more happy and more proud of the guys. Uh, I thought we responded. I had stressed and we had talked as a staff all week about the discipline and urgency that we were going to need. Um, and you saw that. It was kind of a choppy first mm -hmm. half. There was a tough to get a flow or rhythm. Um, but the way our guys came out of the gates in the second half was impressive. It's something that we haven't always been sharp on this year, too. And so it was encouraging from that game's perspective. But also there's opportunities as we continue to move forward for us to grow. And that was a growing opportunity for us. 79-53 on the road. I say that, what comes to mind right away? Both ends of the floor. You know, I thought we, we had 17 assists, Jeff, and, and I don't talk a lot about our offense because we are a defensive-minded group. Um, but I, I thought in a lot of instances it was our defense that was leading to our offense. And then we played unselfishly on the offensive end. And, um, you know, we, we dominated the glass. That, that was a Bison basketball victory. Um, you know, it was great to see, especially this time of year, as we head into tournament play. Yep, it was a, a win that was needed to uh, lock up a chance at the two seed and a shot uh, for a Saturday night game, potentially a day off in the Summer League Tournament. We'll talk about that coming up in a moment as you take a look at the highlights from the Betty and an excellent start as well. You jump out 9-2, Grant Nelson a couple of threes and good passing, good rebounding right there from your group. And I, I think that's it, Jeff. When you talk about urgency, you know, you saw a couple of guys in Rocky Cruiser and Grant Nelson all over in the offensive glass and creating some extra possessions for us. And uh, we, we knew we had some size and physicality um, differences, you know, uh, going into this game and, and that would match up in our favor. And we played inside out, you know, I mean, that's a three. Um, and it's a great three because it's an inside out three. And credit our guys for taking advantages of the things that we had going into the game. Um, and it, again, just a, a, a impressive dominating start to finish performance for our guys. Pretty move there by Sam Greasel. Grant Nelson cooking from three, career high four threes made coach. When he's making that shot, how tough is he to guard? He's tough to guard, he really is, because obviously he's proven, you know, the capabilities of putting it on the floor. And when you've got to start to you know, squeeze him a little bit tighter on those closeouts, um, it really diversifies his port portfolio, like we said. But he'll be the first to tell you a lot of these are his feet are set, and he's catching and shooting. A terrific play by Jarius to get downhill, get feet in the paint, and play inside out, and that's Bison basketball. If you could bottle up this start to the second half, a 14-0 run out of the locker room to really put them away, put them on their heels. You can probably sell it for a pretty penny, I would imagine. Great give and go there with Sam and Rocky. Yeah, I mean, and, and again, Jeff, to our point that we discussed earlier, it's something that hasn't been always, you know, on point for us this year. We haven't come out of those second half gates and, and been on point, and our, and our guys really were. And um, again, what I was most pleased with, it's, it's, it's stuff we practice, it's stuff we talk about. It's getting the ball inside, close to the rim, in the paint, um, and then kicking it out and playing outside. Bowden Skunberg there, able to uh, make a play and and one along the baseline. Jamestown native Grant Nelson likes playing against the University of North Dakota. He was outstanding December 22nd, outstanding again. A Gate City Bank game recap, 17.7 rebounds. You're balanced all the way up and down. I mean, you talk about unselfishness. You get that kind of play offensively this time of year, you're a dangerous basketball team. Yeah, I mean, you're seeing it on the graphic. There's four guys in double figures right there, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Sam had nine, yeah. too. And so, really across the board effort, it, it was great. We were able to get some other guys some extended minutes. I thought Andrew Morgan came off and gave us another spark. Um, he was really good. We got Malik uh, some more extended minutes as well. And then got, you know, Willie Guy and Andrew Coleman and, and um, even Grayson and Colby some minutes at the end, which was fun to see. Well, you preach it. This time of year, it comes down to three games in Sioux Falls at the Summit League Tournament. It's what you've based your program around, playing your best basketball at this time of year. And uh, you've been a part of a lot of these opportunities. Seven of the last nine years, this program has been in the Summit League Tournament championship game as we take a look at the, uh, the bracket here for what shakes out in Sioux Falls, the way it worked out. The Bison, or the two seed, will play Saturday night, 8.30 p.m. at the Denny Sanford Premier Center against Denver. 
And uh, with an opportunity for a night off with the win, let's just roll through your philosophy, Coach. Give us your th give us your thoughts when you think of this tournament and this time of year. Well, I think to your point, Jeff, it's an opportunity to get that night off if you're fortunate enough to win Saturday. And, and how you win on Saturday is you have a great week of prep and you stay in the moment, you enjoy the moment. And um, again, our focus, especially early this week, is going to be on Bison basketball getting better. North Dakota State University. Um, that's who we are and that's why we've been successful. You're, you you get into this and there's quick turnarounds, there's short prep times, um, and that's okay by us because our, our focus, 90 to 95 percent of who we are, is is us. And, and we're not, you know, no disrespect, but we're not, our, our focus isn't our opponents. It's, it's us being the best version of ourselves and playing with clear minds and fresh legs. And it's been a good recipe for us. Now we'll see if we can continue to carry that over this year. Bison have played in each of the last three Summit League tournament title games, winning two of the three. Your thoughts on Denver? I know you just mentioned it's yeah. about us, but. Your thoughts on the opponent on the Pioneer Saturday night? Well, I mean, you know, Jeff has done a terrific job, and you can see, you know, the challenging part for us, you can see a Denver group that's building. Uh, their margin of defeat in, in all of their games is less than three. Um, they played us, you know, we came out and popped them pretty good in the first half. Uh, they clearly had sent a different message to their group uh, when, when they came to our place, and it was only an eight-point game. And then they just closed out the season at Western Illinois with a terrific victory. And, and so, uh, for obvious reasons, they've got our, our full respect and, and full attention as we go into playing them this Saturday. Yep, it's a fun time of year. Can't wait, Coach. Best of luck to you and your guys in Sioux Falls. Appreciate you, sir. Yep. That's head coach David Richmond coming up. One of the key pieces to this Bison basketball machine. That's first team all summer league performer Rocky Cruiser stops by the set. When we come back, don't go anywhere. Better starts with convenience. Our 43 convenient locations make running errands easy. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing time. Which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, Better starts with you. And this means better ways to brighten your day. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Oh, Bud Light Seltzer Retro Tide Eyes. <laughs> Try these yet? Bud Light Salsa Retro Tata, the loudest flavors ever. Celso Retro Tata. Have you tried these yet? Bud Light Celso Retro Tata, the loudest flavors ever. And hey, welcome back, Bison Basketball Show. One of us plays, the other does not, obviously. Discrepancy in height. Rocky Cruiser with us here. It's great to have him. What a senior year for uh, the young man from White Bear Lake, Minnesota. Hey, congratulations. Great performance on Saturday by you and your guys. Just kind of walk me through uh, how this team's feeling right now, how you're feeling here at the end of the season, getting ready for a big time of year. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Saturday uh, built some confidence. You know, we really went into it with a with a, a much improved mentality, I think, just right out of the gates. I think we were more urgent mm -hmm. um, on offense and defense, you know, forcing them into tougher shots. And I think we shared the ball really, really well, you know, finding open guys when they were doubling in the post. and. You know, kudos to everyone else on the perimeter for making shots, um, knocking them down when they're open. Rocky Cruiser, by the way, uh, one of two players in the history of NDSU basketball, 1,600 points, 800 rebounds, 100 block shots. The other, Joe Rainier, also from White Bear Lake. 
You can believe that. I, uh, yeah, my dad texted me saying that, and then the yeah. little caveat at the end was also from White Bear Lake. I think that's a pretty cool stat. That's that's more important yes. than the numbers part of it. Yeah, exactly. You played in two, well, one NCAA tournament. Man. Sorry to bring that Man. up. Bad memory <laughs> right there. You've won two Summit League tournament championships. What's it take this time of year to get it done as you have done it already before in your career? Yeah, right. You know, Coach has done it the entire year of just setting us up to be successful at the end of February and in March during tournament time. Um, and we've grown all season for this moment. Um, it takes a lot of grit, right? You know, three games in, in three or four days, four mm -hmm. days for us. Um, it, it's tough. It's hard. That's why, you know, there's only one champion. But um, I think we're ready for it. I think we have the grit. We face the adversity all year long, all year long and uh, we've, we've overcome it. Take me through your thoughts on the opponent. Denver, Saturday night to open things up, 8.30 p.m. Yeah, um, obviously a very good team. You know, just went out and, and beat Western Illinois. Um, that, was a, that was a great game. Um, you know, we beat them twice this year, but, you know, every, every, everyone knows it's very difficult to beat a team three times in one year. So we got to come out with that same mindset, that same urgency we had on Saturday against UND. Um, and if we do that, I think we have a really good chance to, to win the game. What would it mean to you to cap your career? Cutting down the nets. Um, it would mean a lot, right? You know, especially after that bad taste in my mouth last year, um, the year before that, not getting to go. Um, you know, finishing it off, you know, um, going to the NCAA tournament with the guys I love, it would mean a lot to me. Yep. Rocky, thanks so much for coming down. Appreciate it. Can't wait to watch you this weekend in Sioux Falls. Appreciate it. Thank you. There you go. That's a first team all summer league performer right there, ladies and gentlemen. Rocky Cruiser. Coming up next, we talk with NDSU women's basketball coach Jory Collins in senior day. That's on the way. Another rock and roll weekend. Burgers, better with Pepsi. Oh, Bud Light Seltzer Retro Tonic. Nice. Have you tried these yet? Bud Light Seltzer Retro Tonic, the loudest flavors ever. Better starts with convenience. Our 43 convenient locations make running errands easy. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing time, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. And this means better ways to brighten your day. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Oh, Bud Light sells a retro tie. Nice. <laughs> Try these yet? Bud Light Seltzer Retro Tata, the loudest flavors ever. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Good deflection. Hopkins off balance with a floater is good. On senior day, Renea Hopkins exploding here in this second half. What a finish by the NDSU women on Saturday. Senior day, as Dom mentioned right there. We're going to talk a lot about Renia Hopkins as well during these next two segments of the Bison Basketball Show. Jeff Colhain back with you here with the head coach, Jory Collins. Coach, congratulations. Great Thank finish you. to the year. Impressive win. And speaking of finish, that was a three-point game in the fourth quarter, and your ladies uh, took that one down in a hurry it in a big-time way. It, it was a lot of fun. Uh, probably the most fun we've had playing. Uh, in quite a while for us and you know I don't know how many times since I've been here. I think we've played uh, UND seven times and they've all come down to a possession or two every single time it was great for us to be able to pull away the other day uh, made free throws at a really high level I think Renia and heaven combined to go 21 of 22 from the free throw line so uh, just really finished the game on a really good note how about your seniors Emily Dietz all-time leader career games played yeah. what a career she's had here 
And Rania Hopkins, again, we're going to talk to her next as well in the Bison Basketball Show. She's playing her best ball of her career at the right time for you. She is, and, and I was so happy for both of those two just to be able not only to win a game on senior day, but both of them played well. Um, you know, Emily Dietz is, is a Bison uh, through and through and just lives it and breathes it. Um, and it was just really happy for her to have a good day. And then obviously everybody that follows us knows Renee is playing her best basketball of the year in the last five or six games. Uh, put on a great performance the uh, whatever day it was, two days ago. Yeah. Uh, with almost, I think, all 20 or close to all 20 of her points in the second half um, has just given us another dimension uh, to our basketball team on both sides. And uh, it's great to see her finishing uh, on a really high level and, and doing some of the things that we know she can do. Well, an important time of year with March right around the corner. Let's take a look back at senior day, the win. There they are right there. Emily Dietz, Renia Hopkins being honored. Final home game of the regular season. Final game of the regular season for Jory Collins and the NDSU women. And you knew, no matter, as you talked about, no matter who's playing well, who's not playing well, the flow, that this was going to be a basketball game that was going to come down to the end, and you had to finish strong, and obviously you did. Yeah, you know, we had a lot of – our starting five played great in this game, all five in double figures. Uh, you watch Abby Schulte right there get downhill. We really emphasized in this game, you know, getting off the ball screens, and, and they're usually in some soft and loose coverage, and we really wanted to attack the rim. You know, we didn't shoot the three ball well. I think that was one of our two today on the day from Rania right there. We made a great step back. But just the, the downhill, straight line drives, um, we were able to finish those plays at a high level. Abby Schulte with 18 points on 8 of 12, just mostly right at the rim. Um, and I thought we played faster than we normally do, and, and that was great to see too because I think we have kids that are really good in transition. Uh, Rania and Heaven uh, combined just the one-two punch of those two together has really uh, the last five or six games given us a lift offensively. They're playing a lot more like we played last year, uh, and, and we're just benefiting from that. Ryan was great in and around the basket. Uh, but like I said, all five starters were, were playing at a pretty good clip. So it's 61-58 here, Coach. Uh, just over six, seven minutes to go in the fourth quarter. You close this thing on a 20-6 to run. What was, what was the yeah, items you, know, I, you saw? I, we talked after the game. I thought, you know, for, UND is a super scrappy team, and they, they were getting a lot of the loose balls and 50-50 balls throughout the game, and I thought at about six minutes to go in the game, all of a sudden we were the first to the ball. Uh, we got a couple loose balls and some transition baskets that separated it to, to eight, nine. Uh, and then we were able to hang on and make free throws. And, you know, they fouled us late uh, trying to get back in it. And, and as we said before, Heaven and, and, and Rania stepped up. And I think we're 21 of 22 from the free throw line combined. So just a special uh, special day from the free throw line and, and made them at a high level and, and multiple players making contributions. Gate City Bank game recap, 81-64 the final. Jory Collins and his NDSU women's basketball team completes the season sweep of UND. First matchup all the way back on December the 22nd up at uh, the Betty in Grand Forks and uh, the Bison again strong finish a 20 to 6 run to end that thing and great guard play great numbers from the starters as coach talked about and you talk about March coach as we pull up the Summit League tournament bracket right here. You talk about March, you need to have players that can not only defend, obviously, but get you a bucket late in the shot clock, lesser possessions, it feels like, that time of year. I'll tell you what, Heaven Hamling, Abby Schulte, Renia Hopkins, the way those three are playing right now, that, that gives you definitely a little bit of uh, juice going into that this weekend here yeah, coming up. I think, you know, a lot of coaches would tell you that when you get to the tournament, guard play is extremely critical. Um, it's great for us that all three of those those guys had great games the other day uh, going into next week. Obviously, uh, you know, our matchup against UMKC is, is going to be a good ball game. We had a 10-point lead here going into the fourth quarter. It was a one-possession game with two and a half minutes to go at third place. So those games have been extremely competitive. Uh, we're looking forward to the opportunity maybe this third time around to get it changed. As we talk to you right now, it's uh, with COVID, funky still a little bit. SDSU, USD, as we chat with you here at this moment, not quite sure who the one and who the two is overall. But we do know that the Bison, as you talked about, Coach, will take on Kansas City. You mentioned the games. You felt like you let one slip at home. Now you got some time to prepare, some time to get ready for a game on Sunday afternoon. 
just walk me through the, the matchups and some of the uh, the angles overall for your basketball team in this contest. Yeah, so the, we match up really well with those guys. They're, they have a couple bigs. Um, their four and five men are both pretty versatile and pretty athletic. And then obviously Al Nottis as a point guard is, a, is one of the top five players in this league and, and has been all year long. And uh, we feel like Abby Schulte does a pretty good job guarding her uh, and that we're able to match up in some spots. The difference in those games – Earlier, we made a few defensive mistakes. We didn't send out Nottis to the screen a couple of times. We let her reject us, and obviously all of that's easier said than done on a player of that caliber. Uh, but some of those we shot ourselves in the foot, and if we can take care of our own business, uh, then I feel like we're going to have a good chance. It's a 3 p.m. tip, by the way, on Sunday afternoon. 3-6 matchup for the NDSU women taking on Kansas City. You can listen to that game on the radio side on Bison 1660 and 92.7 FM. Coach, it's a fun time of year. Can't wait. Yes. Best of luck to you and your ladies down in Kansas City, and we'll be uh, watching and rooting the entire time. Right. Sounds good, Jeff. Thank you. There you go. So head coach Jory Collins, impressive finish against UND. Coming up next, one of the two seniors, and she's playing great ball right now, folks. Renia Hopkins joins us on the Bison Basketball Show. Another rock and roll weekend. Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Farming today doesn't always feel the same way it used to. Then again, some of it feels all the same. Maybe it isn't so much the jobs that changed, but how they get done. Now that's a different story. Everything got bigger and smaller at the same time. Insurance, accounting, and taxes can get complicated. So you need an expert who's looking to keep every dollar possible in your pocket. Ag Country. Experts in every field. When it comes to living life wide open, the Sea Boys know performance is key. Whether it's on the road or off it, they count on Firestone Tires to keep them going. When buying tires or adding some style, they know exactly where to head. OK Tire and Service. With expert technicians, friendly customer service, and a large selection of Firestone Tires. Make the rest a no-can do with OK Tire. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. And back in on the Bison Basketball Show, it's an important time of year. You want your best players playing their best brand of basketball with the Summer League Tournament right around the corner. And the lady to my left is hooping right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Renia Hopkins. Midwest City, Oklahoma native, and just went through her final game, senior day at home, yeah. regular season. Congratulations on a great win. Thank you. You're balling right now. What's yeah. uh, what's what's cooking for you? Talk about how you're playing. It's been a lot of fun to watch. I think we just got a burst of energy kind of towards the end. I mean, with our standings and stuff, so just trying to get a better standing in the tournament, I think we just start playing real hard. Yep, so. you've been in double figures now each of the last five games yeah. and you're coming off of a career best 20 points also career best seven rebounds as well versus UND yeah how about that you didn't know didn't that there know you it. go there's a little <laughs> nugget for you oh, here right away yeah. but let's let's kind of talk about that Rania just your comfort level right now what what coach is asking you to do offensively and how you're attacking how you're getting it done so just coming off the bench and just bringing energy and um just really doing what I'm supposed to do out there on the court, just playing my role. I just feel like as long as everybody do that and I do it, yep. we're going to have fun just well, like we did. You're having fun, there's yeah. no doubt, and you're definitely doing it. One thing as well, a lot of fun I know, senior day on Saturday, you and Emily Dietz were honored, and uh, we wanted to uh, recognize, obviously, you two here on the Bison Basketball Show. Logan Campbell, great package, talking about the two seniors and their time here at NDSU. 
Rania Hopkins transferred to NDSU right before her junior year. Immediately, Hopkins was able to make an impact on the court, but it wasn't until her senior year when she discovered her full potential. At the beginning of the season, it was a lot going on. I was going through so much. So just spending a lot of time with myself, that's where I kind of start seeing my growth. In her last regular season game, Hopkins set a career high of 20 points. And it makes it that much sweeter that it was against in-state rival UND. That meant everything to me. We played so good. We finished strong, and that's all that matters. It's 10 times better because that was our seventh win in a row. We just made history with that game. Hopkins now believes that making the move to NDSU was one of the best decisions she's made. It means everything to me. I got the chance to come up here and play, move 13 hours away from home, just to have a whole other family up here. On the other hand, Emily Deeds is a Fargo native. Her basketball career started at Shanley High School, where people around town quickly started learning her name. It's amazing. I just, I feel a lot of love and support around me today. And there's so many people here. Uh, I just have so much support in this community, and it's just, just been incredible. After spending five years at NDSU, Deeds' name is written in the history books. In her career as a Bison, Deeds racked up over 1,000 points, 600 rebounds, and 110 starts. I, I didn't know about a lot of them, honestly, until after the game. Uh, but it's just, it's, I don't, I still don't process it because it just never, was something I never really thought of. So to hit those milestones has just been, yeah, it's been a joy and incredible. Deeds accomplished all of this in her backyard, and she can't imagine playing the game that she loves for any other school. Yeah, extremely. I love representing Fargo, and I've loved it here. I've never left, and I don't know if I'll ever leave. It's a great town, and uh, yeah, Bison Nation's incredible. While the regular season has come to a close, the seniors aren't quite ready for the season to come to an end. All focus is now on the Summit League tournament. Um, going in and play UMKC first. Uh, we got to give them one, so... I think that's the perfect team to play going in, so that's probably our momentum is getting at them. They're a team we know that we can beat. Um, we just need to hone in on some things that, you know, we struggled in a little bit in the last game, and uh, if we focus in on those and practice the next week, I think we'll be good. I'm Logan Campbell reporting. All right, thank you, Logan. Great piece there. You watch that? Yeah. What comes to mind right away? It's just, like, bittersweet, almost. It was good to, like, just sit there and watch it. Yeah. You know, you talk about family. You're from 13 hours away, as you yeah. mentioned during the piece. Mm -hmm. Your other senior, Emily Dietz, has lived here her whole life. It's the beauty of, of sports, isn't it? Yeah. Bringing people together. Yeah. What, is, what does this family mean to you overall? So when I first got here, that's where my mom dropped me off, was to Emily's apartment. So I've been with her, like, since day one. So I just think that that's pretty cool how she stayed another year. Now we get to spend this moment together. No doubt about it. Yeah. Absolutely. Rania, thanks so much for the time. Great. Thank You're you. playing great. It's a lot of fun to watch. Thank Best you. of luck in Sioux Falls of the Summer League Tournament. Thank you. There you go. Rania Hopkins, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jeff Colhane. We can't wait. Summer League Tournament right around the corner. Thank you for listening. You've been watching the Bison Basketball Show. The Bison Basketball Show is presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life. This has been an exclusive presentation.